Hello, I'm Donna and g'day to you all today. I have a pile of these paper bags. These are from the bottle shop. My husband loves a beer. So one day when we went to the bottle shop, I said to him, hold on, doll, I'll go in and I'll get your beer for you. Now I can't carry, you know, like the boxes of beer or anything like that. This was just for one bottle of beer. So I went in there and I was saying to the fella behind the counter that was serving me, oh, you know, he had these bags already on the counter because that's how many beers they sell in single bottles in the town I live in. I said to him, oh, can I have some of these bags? Because I do craft and I want to make my husband something out of these bags as a surprise. Well, that was my story just so I could get some bags. And he said, yeah, sure. And look what he gave me. He gave me all of these. This wider size and this size. So what they're for is they've got a gusset in them and therefore that's for a big single bottle of beer. So they put a large bottle in there and then they just fold or screw the top up because you're not allowed to carry them out in public, you know, unless they're in a bag. And this is for, I think, I guess that would fit two bottles side by side, I guess. But anyway, that's what I ended up with. So I'm going to show you what I have started to make with these. I've had them for a little while. I've made a couple of things with them and I thought, oh, it's high time I've done a little video and shared some ideas. So I've got myself a new pair of pinking shears. I had a, a birthday gift voucher. So I went to the local shops and I thought, oh, these are fantastic. So I was able to, when I changed these, I was able to use the pinking shears to replicate the top of the bag again. So we're going to alter the bags a little bit and we're going to make just a very simple pocket. You probably already know how to do this, but it just gives you a little bit of variation on, you know, what you can do with it. After I made one thing, I had some leftovers. So I'll show you. This is what I made. I just made this little folio type of, or sort of a cross between a journal pages and a folio. Um, my dad had a an old folio that I pulled apart and recycled lots of his um, stuff and he had an old photo album that I pulled apart. So I just made a cover and I stitched in some of these bags. I can do a video later and show you how to do that. That it's There's too much chatting for me to show you that one today. That's not what this video is about. It's just that I made this and then I had all these leftover pieces after. So when I cut that off, this is what I had left over. So I thought I want to make some more things with this. So this is pretty simple because you know we don't like to waste anything in junk journaling. We recycle all the time. So when I cut the bag off, it's just cut and it's just left like that. So it's no surprise that if we just fold that over, we'll get a, a pocket. Now where is that pocket? I think it's here. So that's how I made this first one. So I just get it there like that. So it's that width and about that there. So I'm just going to fold that there and get a stamp or hand write whatever you've got and just stamp that on there. That does not need to be all that bulk and width there. I'll just get a ruler and cut that off. You can cut away a bit of this bulk here. Again, it's not needed. Uh, what am 
might do is just cut it on an angle there you don't have to be terribly fussy with this part just as long as you cut away a bit of the bulk so I'll just cut an angle there and there and I'm folding it over so now that's way less bulky you can tape that down or glue it okay so I'm just going to glue these little pieces in here just so they don't float around and go silly So keep everything so we'll just keep everything sort of flat that's the only reason I'm putting a little bit of glue on those areas because that's going to be glued down into the page but that's much flatter and tidier to do it that way okay and you've got this lovely little gusset in your in your um your page pocket so it's really cool because you can you know fit whatever you want in there you probably wouldn't put something like that in there because you've got your ties on the top but it would still work but you can use it for two sided things you can put something in that side of the gusset and something in that side of the gusset that sits in there quite nicely and it looks pretty good having a tab and a place to journal just there like that with with that with that stamp on it so color it up with your distress inks and then just glue that straight down I glued the whole back of it so that it was you know had some some oomph to it so I didn't leave it a floating pocket because it didn't really need to be but you could you could easily do that so that's a, a a choice for that one so there's one idea all right the next idea is I've done it at the front of the book and I wanted to put some washi tapes in that matched the cover or the pages somewhat I know these are a little bit colorful for junk journaling but they did match the cover so I've just used a very lightweight acetate I didn't this is not a very thick cover so I didn't want this to get overly bulky so this one I've used the bottom of the bag I've cut it off with the scissors as to how high I want it I can't believe how good these scissors are they are fabric scissors I've, they've never touched a, a piece of fabric oh gosh my eye is out but they work so well so once you've worked out how deep you want your bag turn it over that way and washi tape it into place so you've got a hinge and just wrap some washi tape around now because it's even there like that it makes it a little bit hard to use so just pick it up open it up we're only going to cut down the front area so just cut on a bit of an angle down to there and cut on a bit of an angle down to there just a little bit grab those pinking shears again and try not to wrinkle your bag too much and just cut it down that little bit lower sort of got to get it in the right place to make the cart does make it a bit fiddly but if you can't get right to the edge 
just use your standard scissors to do that so that you don't crush your paper bag too much. And that makes it a lot easier to use. If you left them both the same height, it does make it a lot more difficult. And just that way you can make your acetate piece the exact right measurement and it sits in the pockets there once that's put in once it's glued down it's much easier to use and that and I've made it just that little bit longer than the bag just so it hangs out a little bit so I've got that visual appeal from the washi and that looks pretty good so there's two ideas just using up the the old brown paper bags that the bottlers throw out like I said you could make that a big one in the front as well but the hinge style works pretty well for the for the washi tape pretty sure you could go ahead and put a tag in there as well just have a little tab hanging out the great Thing about all these pockets are you could put whatever you want in them everyone's got different ideas for what they put in their pockets I've actually glued the gussets down in this one so you'll see the difference here you can leave them open or you can glue them down because I'm just using it for the washi tape I glued that one down even if you only have a couple of these bags, if you go to the bottle shop and just get two or three of these bags, they go a long way because they're so long. I'm Donna. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Let me speak the truth. I know you don't want to face it. You think it's too late. But I can see past the rain. Won't you lay it on me? Turn the page and burn it. Let's make up a big bonfire on the beach with the stars as our lighter and throw our problems in the flame. Throw our problems in the Some comfort, please.